Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In today's video, I will show you how you can make Ethernet cable for Wi Fi router. Let's start the video. Ethernet cable. An Ethernet cable is a common type of network cable used with wired networks. Ethernet cables connect devices such as PCs, routers, and switches within a local area network. These physical cables are limited by length and durability. If a network cable is too long or of poor quality, it won't carry a good network signal. These limits are one reason there are different types of Ethernet cables that are optimized to perform certain tasks in specific situations. What does an Ethernet cable do? Typically, Ethernet cables are used to provide an internet connection, connect devices to a local network. They plug into Ethernet ports on a variety of devices. The most common use for an Ethernet cable is connecting a Wi-Fi router or modem to the internet entry port. It can also be used to hardwire devices like TVs, computers, and other devices that require the internet or a network to work. You can see in this figure a network cable is connected with a Wi-Fi router. Ethernet cable structure. There are several different structures are used for Ethernet cables. The most common structure is twisted pair cable CAT6. Two wires inside the cable are twisted together. Twisted pairs is the industry standard cable. They have the best results in terms of maximum length and speed drops. They are only beaten in performance by fiber optic cabling. It is CAT6 cable it has four pairs. Green and white green. Orange and white orange. Brown and white brown. Blue and white blue. Ethernet cable standards. The two standards for wiring Ethernet cables are T568A and T568B. T568B is the most common standard for Ethernet cable. The tables below show the proper orientation of the colored wires to the pins. It is T568B standard. 1. White orange. 2. Orange. 3. White green. 4. Blue. 5. White blue. 6. Green. 7. White brown. 8. Brown. It is T568A standard. 1. White green. 2. Green. 3. White orange. 4. Blue. 5. White blue. 6. Orange. 7. White brown. 8. Brown. Ethernet cables types. There are two types of Ethernet cables. Straight through. And. Crossover. Straight through. Straight through cables connection are shown in figure below. These cables often known as patch cables and are used to connect different types of devices. For example, a computer to a router. In straight through cable, both side of connectors has same arrangement of wires as you can see in this figure. First pin is white orange and second pin is orange. And other side has same connection. Crossover cables. Crossover cables cables connection are shown in figure below. These cables are used to connect two devices of the same kind, for example, connecting two computers. In crossover cable, one side of connectors has different arrangement of wires and other side has different arrangement of wires. As you can see in this figure. First pin is white green and second pin is green. And other side first pin is white orange and second pin is orange. Ethernet connector, RJ45. An Ethernet connector, RJ45, has 8 pin slots. Each pin is identified by a number, starting from left to right, with the clip facing away from you. See in this figure it is first pin, second pin, third pin, fourth pin, fifth pin, sixth pin, 7 pin and 8 pin. How to make Ethernet cable for Wi-Fi. 
Before you get started, make sure you have the necessary tools. What you'll need. Unshielded twisted pair, UTP, patch cable. Modular connector, RJ45. Modular cover, cover is optional, it will work perfectly without cover. Crimping tool. Cable cutter. Step 1. Put cover into the cable and strip the cable jacket about 1.5 inch down from the end. Step 2. Spread the four pairs of twisted wire apart. Cat 6 cables have a spine that will need to be cut. Step 3. Untwist the wire pairs and neatly align them in the T568B orientation. Step 4. Cut the wires as straight as possible, about 0.5 inch above the end of the jacket. Step 5. Carefully insert the wires all the way into the RJ45 modular connector, making sure that each wire passes through the appropriate guides inside the connector. Step 6. Push the connector inside the crimping tool and squeeze the crimper all the way down. Step 7, repeat steps 1 to 6 for the other end of the cable. Cable is ready. Cable is working fine. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Star Technology 5G. Please like and share the video.